Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today I'll have another episode of Chromebook Tips and Tricks video and I'll talk about how to use Chromebook without a password. So if this is the first time I repeat visit, thank you for your support. On this channel, I'm always trying new and different ideas. If uh, that is something you're interested in, please visit for more. If you're only interested in Chromebook videos, there will be links in the description box below. So today I'll talk about how you can use your Chromebook without a password. Uh, this is different than connecting your Chromebook to your phone and uh, opening or unlocking your Chromebook without using any password. I have a separate video about that. Uh, and uh, what you can do uh, if you'd like to unlock your Chromebook using your phone without a password, then these are the settings. So you have to go to settings, connected devices, phone, and smart lock. I'm going to show you this option very quickly, but today we'll talk about mainly how to use a pin or gesture pin without a password. For example, if you're typing in your password, then let's say my password is my password one two and you can see that you know it takes a while to type it in and I'm going to show you how you can use a gesture password which is kind of like you know uh, kind of using a sign or you can just use like you know pin let's say one two three four or six two one eight anything like that but before that let me just quickly show you how you can open your Chromebook without with your phone uh, so in order to do that you have to go to settings connected devices phone and smart lock so you're going to click on the lower right corner where you see the clock so if you click on it and then here's the round wheel button or settings and then here you're going to go to connected devices which is going to be right here and then from here you're going to go to your phone and smart lock so I already have my phone connected to this Chromebook uh, and uh, you know once you go through the process to connect your phone then you have to just turn on or slide it to the right uh, smart lock feature and then it will open uh, your Chromebook using your phone but I do have a separate video on that and I'll put a link in the description box below so today I'm going to show you how you can use uh, pin or gesture pin uh, in order to open your Chromebook instead of typing your actual password so which can be you know a little long so in order to do that uh, here I have the settings for you so you have to go to settings security and privacy lock screen and sign in so this is where you're going to go to change your option for your Chromebook to enter a pin or gesture password instead of your actual uh, Gmail or Google account password so you're going to go to settings by clicking on the lower right corner where the clock is so it's right here and then you're going to click on the wheel button or settings button which is right here and then from here you're going to go to uh, security and privacy which is going to be right here so if you click on it and then here you're going to see lock screen and sign in option so basically you're looking at right here lock screen and sign in uh, sign in automatically so if you click on it so now you're going to have to enter your you know gmail or google password so now here you can see that there are a few options and here one is you know show lock screen when working uh, from sleep right now I have uh, I don't have it uh, checked on so what it means that you know if I uh, close your Chromebook so for example like this and if I put it back it's not going to lock Chromebook uh, that's what what it does but if you have this you know turned on sliding to the right then once you like you know open your tray then the Chromebook is going to be locked uh, but uh, the reason I didn't turn it on because I'm you know staying at home uh, so when I go out then I just turn off the Chromebook so for that reason I have this uh, feature uh, off but if you want uh, for security always like you know to enter a pin or password then you can slide it to the right and then you can see here that we have the option that you know password only uh, this is the reason you know I had to enter the big password or the Google or Gmail password uh, on the main screen of the Chromebook but if I change this to pin or password then I'm not gonna have to you know enter the big password anymore now you can see that it's telling you to set up a pin so let's click here and here it's like you know uh, pin must be at least six digits so let's say if I set up a pin 
five, 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 five. But it says it has to be six digits, so let's do another five. And it's giving it a warning message that pin may be easy to guess, which is okay. This is just for showing purposes. So if I just click on continue, then we do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, and confirm. And now I'm using my pin. Uh, so let's say, you know, if I turn off the Chromebook, shut down. Okay, so now I'm going to turn the Chromebook back on. And it's going to ask me to enter the pin number. So now you can see the difference. It's not asking me to enter any password, but instead enter me to asking me to enter the pin. So it's going to be one, one, two, three, four, five, six. And it should open it automatically. And you can see that, you know, the Chromebook has been opened. So that's how you can change your you know, password to PIN. Uh, I'd just like to mention one thing that uh, I don't see any gesture opening on this uh, Chromebook uh, yet, uh, which you, know, you, have, uh, you should have available on your Android phone. Uh, so it looks like you know, the Chromebook doesn't have that feature yet. So I'm uh, sure or I'm hoping that you know, in the future they will provide, uh, probably have that feature. Uh, what it means that you know, you're going to just use gesture sign, for example, this or this or this, anything, just like you have this feature on your Android phone, but looks like the Chromebook doesn't have that yet. But when you're watching this video, uh, they might have it. Uh, for that reason, I mentioned you, because you know you might be watch, watching this video from three years from now on, uh, so, but as of now, uh, the option is only to enter numbered password, not any gesture password. So that's how you can, uh, change your uh, Chromebook login uh, from password to PIN. And again, if you do, do not want to use anything at all, then the option you have that you have to connect your Chromebook to your phone uh, using the smart lock feature. And then if you're connected to Bluetooth, uh, which has to be both your Chromebook and your phone at the same time, then uh, once you turn on your Chromebook, it's going to open your Chromebook uh, you don't have to actually log in or do anything. Uh, it's just going to open uh, by connecting to your phone. But you do have to, you know, open your phone uh, to open your Chromebook. And I have a full video on that, which is going to be uh, linked in the description box below. And the other option I uh, told uh, discussed today is that you know you can easily change from a big password, which is the original uh, Gmail or Google password, uh, to uh, a PIN. Uh, which is could be like you know one two three four five six or any numbered pin, but don't use to uh, like you know easy numbers. For example, I just use five 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 five, but don't do that. Try to make it more like you know a little bit difficult, and you can use that so you don't have to enter like you know your full password all the time. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching this video. There'll be more Chromebook videos coming up, so I'll see you shortly. Thank you.